Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster um, in Park Utopia. So, in this episode, we're going to be mainly working on this bridge here and beginning this section of the park known as the Enchanted Forest. Now, mainly the Enchanted Forest and this bridge are sections of the park that I wanted to do early on, and they provide a really, you know, base idea for the park, a base structure to how I'm going to design and what level of detail I'm going to put into the majority of the park. Big decision for me was doing this, um, deciding that I wanted to do this part of the park before I did the Main Street part of the park. Um... I believe that the main street is going to be something that's actually going to be rather difficult to do. And because of that, I decided to hold off on doing that for now. Now, up to this point, uh, there had been some partial construction of the White House Water Tower, as seen over there, in the distance of the, this shot as I go ahead and I'm replacing these planks on the side of the bridge here. Um, what has happened since then is I have go ahead and fin went ahead and finished that structure. The structure has greenery and different decorations going along up and down the sides of the tower as well as the roofing area. As well as the island was decorated and surrounded with rocks and beaches and various different greenery to make it look kind of like a realistic overgrown island. Also what happened is I started expanding so I actually physically built... I built this bridge using the Pathwork tool and actually manually removed the supports. And I went ahead and made these new support structures by using these individual wood planks that I'm using here to build kind of the side of this bridge. Um, I think that that was definitely a very interesting process and I did just end up using a... Um, go ahead, went ahead and used the Blueprints feature of Planet Coaster to go ahead and duplicate those four and didn't end up remaking all of them over and over again because then that would not be as much fun. Uh, as you see here, I'm actually adding different these small sides to the bridge to kind of help blend those different Koei colored wooden supports into the structure of, of the bridge. Uh, I have these um, girders here, and you'll know and you'll definitely notice as I start going into this park that a lot of the times when I can't get the color to exactly match and be where I want it to be, black is a very easy way to go, and it's something that really actually blends a lot better than I thought it would. Now I gotta go ahead and move some of these back because I do not want them sticking through the wood. Um, as you'll see, especially when I go to the other side, I encounter a lot more of this problem. Another slight issue that I had when I was placing these planks, if you had noticed earlier, was that there's a slight incline on that right now left side of, um, on the one end, stretching into the Enchanted Forest side of that area, and I believe there was definitely some issue with the curvature of the, curvature of the wood there, because the wood does kind of have an upward slope as the path kind of reconnects with the ground, which is a little bit above it. Which was not exactly the easiest thing to deal with, but it was also something that, you know, was that bad. You'll see I have to curve this, this wood plank here and try to fit it in. It was not that big of an issue, but it's still something that, you know, may breaks it off from just perfect to just being just a little bit off tilt. <laughs> Uh, another thing that really happened was I really worked a lot more on this coastline. So you'll see that there's occasional rocks and shrubbery kind of given along, and I went ahead and darkened the rest of the coastline. So it definitely has more of like a... There's a river here, and it's not just plain. There's actual rock structures, and there's things kind of jutting out to, again, give it a more realistic feel. Now, as the future for this kind of section, you're going to see that we really are going to get into the development of a lot of the path work in the Enchanted Forest as we go forward here. I think that Enchanted Forest is definitely going to be a very fun section of the park to build. Let's see, we're going to go here and start building the path work. The Enchanted Forest is going to be almost like a figure eight kind of path. Um, with one thing in each of the four kind of sides of the figure eight. The first that go ahead and going to get developed is the wooden coaster, which will be in the section. Um, to be yet to be named, but is very fundamentally based off the Beast at Kings Island with a little more modern elements and um, Millennium Flyer trains. Um, so somewhat of a cross between the Beast and Mystic Timbers, but also with some of the elements that you can find at plenty of other wooden coasters. One problem I had was I was trying to really decide what I wanted to do with this middle section here, and I used the trick, which I've found really helpful, where when you play, take a small path and you place it in between a corner of two other paths, it'll actually round, and then delete it, it'll round the corner. So as you see, I kind of start with some rounded corner, or some stiff corners there, but I'm, I went ahead and placed the path in between, go ahead and rounds it out a little bit, makes it a little more of a circular and friendly shape. So now you see I have the whole figure eight. So as I said, the first figure eight is going to be occupied by the wooden coaster. Two of the other figure eights are going to be occupied by flat rides. So one of the contingencies of this park is there will be four distinct areas. Each area has a roller coaster, two flat rides, and some sort of eatery something of that sort area. 
And so that will be the four sections of kind of this grid here. So you're going to have the roller coaster on the bottom left there, and then a flat ride on the bottom right. And then probably the top left is going to be the flat ride, but that's to be determined based on how much space I actually have in that area. It might just be the top right. And the top left will have to be, is a little bit, a little bit easier because I'm just going to go ahead and use the um, smaller uh, dining area, which will be a lot easier for me to work with. Uh, you see me going around here. Another feature of this park is there will be that train going around the whole park. Now, one thing I wanted to do and something I'm definitely going to have to work on and incorporate later is the train stations. So I decided that I really wanted to um, I'd, uh, I wanted to have a train. I want to have another form of uh, method of transportation around this park, and it will kind of follow the order that I, or the direction that I wanted to with the um, kind of following the nature to... Um, first to early civilization to metropolis to wasteland kind of theme. Um, but one thing I thought would be interesting is if I take the train, put it about uh, about 12 feet, I believe is what I have in this video, uh, about 12 feet above the entrance walkway. So it'll kind of be something that I'll use as a gateway, almost something like you see at Disney World's Magic Kingdom, as a kind of gateway into an entrance into the park and the Main Street kind of vibe. So... Also, that bridge line right, or that bridge right there, provides a beautiful sight line when you're looking off of um, the people walking bridge, and the stru support structure is actually something that's real realistic and really nice to look at, and I think is actually rather pretty. Uh, one problem that I am going to encounter, I have not exactly reached this point yet, is the fact that there, the problem of dealing with actually having the train tracks go through the path work. Because the wooden coaster is placed on the left side, I can't really keep the train on the left side where the wooden coaster is going. So one uh, problem I am facing is that there's actually no um, sort of crosswalk or train crosswalk in, built into Planet Coaster. So unless I want to take the unrealistic route, which is not really an option, and kind of um, go ahead and just kind of route the train anyway through the track and then just build a fake crosswalk but people walk through the train when it's going by anyway, not really my style. So what will probably end up happening is I'm going to go ahead and elevate and create some create some elevated paths that go over where the train should be. Now, is this the most realistic thing in this environment? Mm, not exactly, but it's also something that you could definitely see at a park when a park has these sort of, sort of space and geographical issues. Another option may be to try to build a tunnel. I'm not sure about the feasibility of that, but it is something I can definitely explore in the future. So as you see here, I'm actually working on the middle section of the Enchanted Forest. This is mainly being done as a important step to really help set the tone for the area. I think it was a small area that I wanted to decorate really well, so when I'm actually building all the structures around the area, I'm going to do a lot of the foliage later, a lot of the major trees, because this is going to be a forest, but I want to make sure that I have everything, and I don't want to put a bunch of trees that are going to get in my way and get really annoying. So I want to make sure that I definitely have a theme, definitely have a sort of design that I want to base this section of the park around before I really get into it and really start uh, putting these trees in place. So as you see here, I kind of put rocks around it and um, put some lily pads in it and some other stuff to kind of give it that decoration. Uh, eventually what'll ha what happens is rocks will get put on the bottom of this um, area just to make sure that like, if you actually look down from this point now, it really just looks like it's just kind of sandy ground. And that's not really the vibe I want it to go for. I definitely want it to be a more immersive, a more the ground is rocks kind of thing. As you see, I'm trying to find different types of water that maybe are a little bit harder to see through, but <laughs> to no avail. Go ahead and lower it some more there, and again, I'll probably come in here with a second with the rocks. Uh, so, I think that, so what happens next is the development of the wooden coaster, which is something that I think is a very major element of this park, and this wooden coaster actually has a, takes up a lot of space, has a very large footprint, has three separate lift hills, and kind of goes a long way. Uh, I think it's definitely something very interesting, and you'll definitely tune in next time to see some of the development of that wooden coaster, and some of the station development, and scenery development, and things of that nature surrounding it. So as I'm finishing up this pond here, I want to thank you very much for tuning into this video and episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster, and we will see you next time.